Hi everyone, welcome to our guide how to efficiently depile soft and torn bags. My name is Pascal Giona. I'm product manager for Premier Tech Systems and Automation uh, with Premier Tech for almost 13 years now. Uh, and I used to be a service technician for installation and commissioning for nine years prior to becoming a product manager for robotic palletizers and depalletizers. Um, just to give you a little Heads up of what Premier Tech is. Uh, Premier Tech is the, amongst the largest packaging companies in the world. Um, the markets in which we are in are nutrition, uh, industrial, organics, and agricultural. Uh, and the equipments that we can supply are either from uh, weighing, to bagging, to conveying, palletizing, depalletizing, uh, pick and sorting, pick and packing, load securing, so anything uh, in uh, packaging, we're in there. First, let's start with depalletizing. Why do people want to have automatic depalletizing? It's the same as when uh, 20 years ago, people wanted to go with robotic palletizing. It's tedious, it's hard on the body, raising costs and downtime. And like I said, 20 years ago, robotic palletizing was a relatively new thing. And we can actually say that it skyrocketed ever since. So 20 years in the making, it's kind of normal now to have a robotic palletizer. And also, what I wanted to show you, we've got a world premiere right here today. The very first integration of the Fanuc 3DV 1600 vision sensor. Uh, with our partner Fanuc Robotics, um, we've been able to integrate the very first 3DV 1600 vision sensor in our machine. Um, this sensor is used to precisely locate the bags on the pallet, even if they are randomly placed. So mix that with Pattern Expert, which is our very own proprietary palletizing software. It will suit any application. Bags, boxes, kegs, bottles, you name it. So Premier Tech, with Fanuc, you've got the best of everything. Um, but why did we go with Fanuc? Why didn't we not go with another supplier which is dedicated in supplying uh, cameras or vision sensors? It's because of the, 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 it's made by Fanuc, coming from the robot integrator. So it, it integrates with the robot pretty seamlessly. We will independently recognize each bag in either 2D or 3D, depending if we detect the, the logo on the bag or we detect the shape of the bag. So, um, and, and that's also on complete or partial layers. So if, uh, a, a pallet like that one, for say, let's say, it will detect those two bags independently because it's not a complete layer. Because we also can see the depth of the of the pallet. Um, we also have another type of sequence which, which we call a blind mode. Blind mode is it will take, let's say, a five bag per layer pattern and just use the coordinates of a five bag per layer and just go using those coordinates at the position of the bag where they should be normally when you palletize that pallet. So, but we also have, that's something new that we came up with. Uh, it's called hybrid depal mode. It's a combination of using the, the camera to take a picture of the pallet, of the load, and the algorithm in our software will determine which type of pattern it is. So it could be a three per layer, five per layer, 10 per layer, name it. We will detect the type of layer on the pallet and we'll start in blind mode from top to bottom of the pallet, meaning a very high depalletizing rate. Just to give you a little more information on the gripper, we have, um, we added urethane fingers on the fingers so when we grab the bags, uh, we won't tear the bags. So even if the bags are crooked a little bit, well, we, we can still pick them up 
without tearing the bottom of it. So you won't have product everywhere from the pallet to the drop station. So we're pretty proud of that. We believe so much in automatic depalletizing that we even started a research and development project, especially for this project, because uh, we're dedicated to re revolutionize depalletizing. And as you can see right now, this is a recipe-based depal. So we've got six pallets of all different products on the floor, and we will get a, a certain bags, a certain amount of bags per pallet, depending on what the operator asks for. Talking about the bags, as you can see, we have different types of bags here. We've got uh, very big, soft pillow bags, as we can have over here, we can have uh, valve bags, which are a little bit tougher. As on the other side, we've got uh, other types of, uh, of sugar bags. We could have uh, any type of flour bags, anything to make the blend in the end. And that's also what brings the complexity in this cell, is we have so many types of bags and so many products that we need to be efficient. We, we need to be able to do everything, which is the hard part. Now, if we, if we, if we start talking about uh, the sequence and how to depalletize those bags. So with the camera, we go over the pallet, take a picture, and when the bags are recognized, even if they are very, very, uh, very overlapped or very tight together, we will recognize them. Um, but to be able to pick them, you need to have the right tooling, the right vacuum system, and the right vision system. All combined together, you get what you need to be able to depalletize those bags correctly. Here we've got a fine product, so you need to have the good filtration system. So if you have a, a, an open bag, uh, the, the product needs to be filtered in the filter. So if you have uh, like uh, seed corn or uh, under other types of granular products, you won't need to have the same type of filter. And if you add to that our own gripper, when, so when the gripper is closed, we secure the bag in the gripper. So if the bag's a little bit crooked, we can still pick it up and uh, drop it quite fast on the drop station. Type of application for this machine, well, you can have a single pallet, single bag, easy enough, or multiple pallets for batches of recipes like we have here. Going to a central depal system, so you'd have one robot mounted on rails with a sensor and just depalletizing on 20 pallets. So that could be possible, having multiple robots on rails, depalletizing multiple pallets and just dropping them on outfeed conveyors and also completely mixed pallets of bags. So you'd have one pallet completely mixed with many sorts of different bags. It'll go through the whole pallet. Now I'm pretty sure you want to see the whole machine in function. So we'll continue with a, a video showing the whole cell in production. And as well, at the end of the video, we will also show you uh, a little mashup of um, everything we can do in Deep Out.
So this will conclude our presentation. I hope you like the show. Um, if you want any information, uh, look at the website at the bottom of the screen, ptsystemsautomation.com. And also you can give us a call at the phone number you see at the bottom of the screen as well. So our sales reps are waiting for your call. Thanks a lot.